Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Discover Kids. I'm Miss Mal. And I'm Miss Amy. And we are so glad to have you here. This week, we are going to continue our Fear Buster series where we use the Bible to help us bust through all of the fears that we have. Today's big idea is I can bust fear with courage. Repeat after me, Miss Mal. I can bust fear with courage. I can bust fear with courage. Great job, everyone. Okay, everyone, what I need you to do is to go find something in your house, like a book, and we're gonna do the balance game. Okay, I'll give you just a second to get situated. Can you balance? Can you go in a circle? Can you go up and down with it? Up and down? <laughs> Can we get even something bigger? Um, let me look around. Oh, I've got it. Oh, how about this? How about this? Oh, woohoo! You did it! Wow, you guys did such a great job balancing stuff with Miss Amy. That was crazy. I know I would have been out like that. Hey, let's get ready to worship together. Feel the wonder, say his name, watch the darkness. Slip away, put your power on display, say goodbye to fear and shame. Rahab. Rahab lived in a town called Jericho. Actually, she lived in a house that was part of the outer wall of Jericho. And God used Rahab to help his people enter the land he had promised them. The problem was that the city of Jericho was in their way. So two spies went to check it out. When the king of Jericho found out there were Israelite spies in his city, he sent people to find them. And even though Rahab knew it would be really dangerous if she got caught, she chose to protect the spies by hiding them in her own home. She did this because she knew that God was on the side of the Israelites. She had heard the stories about how they escaped from Egypt and how God split the Red Sea for them. And she knew that if God had told them to defeat Jericho, it would happen. 
and she hoped her family would be protected. So the spies promised her that if she hung a red rope in her window and didn't leave her house, her family would be protected. Then they climbed out of the window and went down the city wall. Rahab was brave when it wasn't easy. She trusted that God would protect her, and he did. And even better, many, many, many years later, Jesus was born into Rahab's family. And that's a little bit about Rahab. What a great Bible story where we got to see Rahab show courage when something was really scary. Have you ever been scared before? Yell it out. Oh yeah, me too, I've been scared before. And the best thing to do when we're scared is to go to God and pray. And you know what, we should do that right now. So put your hands together and let's pray. God, we come before you right now. We love you so much. And whenever we feel afraid, whenever we feel scared, God, we know we can come to you and we can ask you to give us courage. And so we do that now, God, we pray that with everything going on in our lives, in our world, that you would be here with us. God, that you would give us courage to face every day, every moment. And we thank you for loving us. We trust you. In Jesus' name, everybody says, Amen. Let's learn Psalm 34, 4. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4. Let's do it one more time as fast as we can. Are you ready? I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4. Great job, everyone.
job, everybody. This week, just remember, if you get afraid at all, you can bust fear with courage. We can't wait to see you next week. Bye. Bye.